suppose it's magic keeping the thing afloat? What else could it be? Do you think Sid will tell us about his adventures in Ash? What you will, Lady Karen has seen our First the skies, then the crystal. If Joshua was worried about Jill, I should go and speak with him. Joshua, I read your message. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we've returned from Drake's spine, I've felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. And to let her know that we still need her. Now more than ever, that you still need her. But how to do that? When last we were truly close, we were but children. Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the Duchy? And Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill? <laughs> to see the snow daisies, I remember. It was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. <laughs> in the rain. <laughs> a thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander who finally found us, and needless to say, he was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. True. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? <laughs> I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive?
this is the place, but... I'm sorry, Clive. There's no weapon spared. What do we do now? We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but... It's the only place I know of. You of. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard? To the hideaway, then. Let's hope one of the gods knows where to find snow daisies. Say what you will. you down from the heavens, Sid. I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Thank you. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrak. Ah, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. Off we go then. Now my eye help the garrison today. How are we gonna arm the garrison with our forge? Those things didn't fight like men. The meadows are vast. Where do we even start? Yote mentioned the coastline. We can start there.
see, boy. Let's hope this is the last one. Only one way to find out. was harder than I expected. But Founder, it was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? Jill, there's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's, uh, not here. Now, I know this is sudden, but how would you fancy a trip to Oriflam? There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or... <laughs> Tried to. 
how could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. But I felt wonderful nonetheless. I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. Before we broke camp, the morning after the storm, do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tour. And from there I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... No matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That you, that you would always come for me. And you have, again and again. Where do you see us? When all this is over? I don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. Then... That's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. much good at garlands, but it'll have to do. I'll treasure it forever. Thank you, Blythe, for this, the flowers, the... everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. We should probably be getting back. 
I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together.